What up, everybody? Welcome to a very special edition of Modern Playbook because I'm here. <laughs> I've got the whole crew with me. Uh, I feel uh, very justified in the fact that uh, I'm doing something well because I was able to gather the whole crew together. No, it's not, that's not a normal thing. Nico does it every week. So what's up, guys? How you doing? Everybody good? Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. We got the mighty Mel V. We got Nico. We got Mr. Longshore. We've got Steve from My Bargain Comics. Of course, we got the one and only Mercenaut. Half Price Crook is in the house. And Andy, what's up, brother, from Indie Spotlight Series. Check him out on comicbookinvest.com. Let's do it. Let's get into it. You, you, you motherfuckers should... Fake my wife let me play on a Saturday. <laughs> it's because you're not too hungover from uh, Friday night uh, hygiene. So she she allowed me to come on the modern playbook this week because I didn't do drunk and chat last night. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a blast and we we're gonna have fucking fun. We're gonna break we're gonna break it down. The, the the top ten we just did was beautiful, but I felt we were in school and I couldn't raise my head, couldn't talk in class. Damn it, I'm talking to class right now. Let's get busy. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. What do we got? Wait. Uh, I, I got you. Up. Hold on one second. Yeah, how do I do the thing? What's you the got thing? it. All right. Number one. So uh, everybody's talking Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars 68. Wait, 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 wait. wait. This, is, this is another top 10 show? No, 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 no. No, no. It's the first appearance of The Mandalorian, right? Uh, copies have been moving. Here we've got one that was listed as an 8.0 or an 8.5 that sold for 200 plus. Uh, high grade copy, as you guys saw, uh, almost $500. Uh, really just uh, some. What do you mean, first appearance of The Mandalorian? Well, some of these books are. It, it's like the first appearance where they, they talk about The Mandalorian. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. So uh, there's 100 and. Or, I'm sorry. 1,277 universal slabbed copies of Star Wars 68. The highest graded is a 9.8. Uh, there's 118 copies on the census. A 9.8 sold this month for $2,103. A 9.6 in a cracked case sold back in April for 120 bucks. Uh, you saw the sales there. Uh, an 8.5 uh, slabbed copy in December sold for $185. Um, a nine there is a, th there's a comic pack for that, too. Yep, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, 9.6 for uh, $850 in December. As you uh, guys astutely observed, there is a, that cool uh, toy inserted uh, comic that shares the same cover. Um, my question is, uh, you know, what do you guys think about that particular book? Is there any room to grow? Uh, have we peaked on Mandalorian fever? Um, are they all gone? Uh, has Carter found a half a dozen of them in his local <laughs> comic shop? And listen, I got a story about that. Well, let's hear it, man. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Um, back in the day, I had pretty much all that all that Star Wars stuff. But let's go about maybe about a year and a half ago. I had Star Wars number one, uh, number sixty eight, and number one oh seven. I got I got those three graded. One came the number one came back at an eight. Uh, the sixty eight came back at a nine four, and the one oh seven came back at a nine six. And this was a time I was just done with Star Wars. Just let me get what I paid for it. So I think I might have sold them for like, I think I might have sold it all for 200. I might have, might have, might have, might have, might have. I don't know. That 107 and 96 is a nice book. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we all, so that's my story. That's my story. It's your mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never thought you're in a half Marvel half books would catch fire. A year and a half ago, that 107 might have been a more sought after book than 68. Right. But yeah, honestly, you know, I think so. Yeah. Everybody was always pining after that, but you, you, because you saw 68 all the time, but you, you don't see 107, you know, laying around mm -hmm. too often. Yeah. Yep. Especially in high grade. Right. Yeah. I'm surprised to see any of those Marvel books really pumping 
uh, extra money other than 42 and one, right? It was always 42 and one and the rest, uh, 107 was decent. The rest you really didn't care about unless you found them in really high grade. Yeah, so there's two other uh, Star Wars sales uh, that I wanted to talk about, and then we can just kind of uh, shoot the shit about what's going on with Star Wars books. Can we go to Darth Maul 2? I seen. I was watching that shit yesterday, bro. Yeah, you dropped on there. The AHA variant. Um, look, there's 27 nine eights total. 43 yeah. graded copies. It's the first appearance of Cad Bane. Uh, a fan favorite uh, for those who are just dipping their toe into the Star Wars pool. This is a cowboy uh, Sith uh, who many believe is destined for the small screen. Um, he, he shot Boba Fett in the head and dented his armor. The same dent was in his armor was when um when old boy Timothy Oliphant was wearing that armor in, um, in Mandalorian. Yep. Nine eight sold for seven hundred and seventy five dollars in December, and then uh, of course there's this particular sale. Uh, can we go to the last, the last big Star Wars sale this week? Hold on. Mm. Can can we go back one second, please? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. The nine six, right? How many nine six on census number one, number two? What, what did the last nine six sell for? Uh, I wish I had the data in front of me. Shame on uh, me for not making better notes, Mel. I apologize. No, that's just me being lazy. I can just fucking look myself. But <laughs> you yeah, I, my here. recollection is that there were 114 nine sixes. If I get that number right, um, I should have been on Jeopardy. Uh, well, 114 nine six. That's still relatively low. I'm big about the nine sixes because I snagged one of these off an e. Or no, uh, I'm sorry, not 114. 14 nine. 14 nine sixes. Yeah. Wow. I snagged one of these off of um, the Midtown shelf for 80 bucks about three months ago. Yeah. For uh, those who haven't been tracking this book, there was a period of about six months where there were zero copies on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. One, one sold for November and three fit for 350. And, and a nine six. I, yep. And then a couple more for like right around 250, right in there. Well, guess what? I have one. Good stuff, buddy. Drunken uh, box. Here's, Man, don't do that. Here's the other <laughs> All right, you ready? Darth Vader number three, the variant uh, from 2015. I, I hear some people pretend like uh, Dr. Afro wasn't hot out the gate. They just weren't collecting books or, or, or they have a selective memory. Uh, she was absolutely hot out the gate. There's 535 graded copies of this variant, uh, 268 nine eights, 179 sixes. The high in 2020 for this book in nine eight condition is $1,450. The low in 2020, you ready for it? 250 bucks. Hmm. In nine six condition, this is the high sale. The low was, hold your breath, twenty two dollars. How'd you like to be that guy? What? That's oh, a, that's a recorded GPA sale. Why do you feel? I would feel horrible. Like grading costs for crying out loud. Oh, that's soul crushing. Talk yeah. about grading costs. I have a I have a story to Carter. This will make you feel better. So I, I just looked up in my. This was this was in 2017. I sold a Star Wars 81 CGC. Now it's an 8.5, but it was an SS. Now 81, you know, most of the Star Wars Marvel covers are kind of like cartoony, right? But 81 is the Return of Boba Fett and is painted by Tom Palmer. That's beautiful, so Tom Palmer. Yeah, it's a work of, a work of art. And um, so I just looked it up. I sold it for fourteen dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> oh, we've all got those stories right and yeah uh, you know so yeah. I, I don't want people to think that like we all hit grand slams every time because we certainly yeah. don't no, we uh, got a lot more than i hit grand slams yeah uh, and star wars is beyond crazy even more crazy than i thought it was i was telling uh i was talking to um my my local comic shop owner the other day and he said that he goes, I had a, a collection come in and I bought it and um, I put it out for customers to go through and I had a customer going through it and he pulled out first uh, uh, Dr. Afra, just the regular cover and legacy number one. And he took him up to the counter and he said, and he was looking at key collector and he's going, uh, it says that they're worth about this on key collector. I'll give you a 400 bucks. 
And my, the owner was like, okay, yeah, let, I'll, yeah, let's see. We'll see. And he puts him down on the desk and the guy goes, okay, I'm going to go back to, to going through books. Some guy just walks in and sees the books on the counter and he goes, how much for him? And the comic shop owner goes, I don't know, 620? And the guy goes, sold and walks yeah. out. So you don't even have time to like say, I will buy those in five minutes. They're so hot. Like, wow. Yeah. That, I, that I had a similar experience with books. I was the guy on the losing end of it, but they were timely Marvel comics, uh, not modern Star Wars books. Yeah. And uh, when you got to be that quick on new stuff, uh, it's like the Wild West out here. Yes, it is. A yep. lot of really fat comic book stores out there right now. Yeah, where do you guys uh, see the the future of Star Wars comics? They got ten shows coming on Disney Plus. Uh, that looks like it's just kind of like a crack in the ocean. We were talking uh, earlier um, before we were on air about uh, recent information that indicates that uh, Lucas is looking to do more villain centric uh, television projects. Uh, I mean, what is the future? Any and everything is up for grabs. Sky is the limit. I think it's huge. I mean, I was talking with Phil about this. He knows a shit ton more about Star Wars than I do. But I know a thing or two about markets. Whenever you have new entrants into markets, you know, it's hard to it, it's hard to sort of measure how big it can go. And based on his numbers, he was saying that a lot of the people coming into this market are aren't traditional comic collectors, right? They're Star Wars. Fans. And if that's the case, then I mean, I don't, I don't know where this ultimately goes, but it could it, it could really, really run. And, you know, I'll, I'll put up my hands. Like, I'm not good at specking on Star Wars, but I think it's a huge, huge, huge opportunity for anybody who's good at this stuff. I think all of these shows are going to drive these books to, to levels that are going to surprise a lot of us. The only yeah. similar thing I can think of is, you know, with the Marvel Now, all new Marvel Now, you know, era, you know, Kamala Khan, Riri, Miles, you know, all hitting, you know, kind of around the same time, right? Um, and we especially saw like a boost in all those books around June and July, right? I mean, they, they went from, I mean, they were already hot, but they, they got even hotter. Now they're taking, I think, a little bit of a rest. Um, but we'll see another wave of heat. Um, you know, I, I think there may be a lull uh, because we have, what, almost 12 months to go before we see any new content, right? Um, so there might be some buying opportunities as people shift towards the MCU because we're going to see WandaVision, uh, Falcon and uh, Winter Soldier, uh, some of the other shows and, and movies uh, possibly. Um, so could, could, I, I think there could still could be some buying opportunities because people have such short term memories and, you know, unless you're front and center, um, the market is ADD in a major way, like, like you've never seen, which, which, which is what's great for, for, for all of us. Right. If you understand that, um, listen, I think the Marvel slate coming out, people are sleeping on that. Riri Williams, I mean, she's getting her own show, right? She's going to be in Armor Wars. She's going to be in the movies. I mean, she is going to be a huge star. Kamala Khan is going to be. I, I think the modern market is going to shock people at yeah. some of these prices we're going to see over the next 10 years. Completely blow people away because the supply on these books is so much thinner than maybe what we're accustomed to for copper or bronze or silver. Golden is its own animal, right? That, that's its own. But 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 some of some of the supply in some of these books are so 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 thin that I think some of these numbers we've talked about, we're going to be like, you know, in two, three, five years, are going to be shaking our heads saying, "My God, I could never imagine numbers hitting these levels," just because they're so hard to come by. Um, I'm saying so yeah, that now. But, but Star Wars is going to have a great run, I think, and I would love to be in on it. I've decided, like, I just, like, I, I know what I know and I know what I don't know. And I'm not going to be a tourist in that space when there's so many really smart people playing in it. But I think there's huge opportunity. Yeah. There's, there, there is, there's time, there's going to be time to buy back in, I think, on the bigger books, like Steve talked about. And there's also, I mean, there's still 
quality books out there that you can find for five, ten bucks. You yeah, know? there's this so, there's books there's books that nobody even's talking about yet. Yeah, tons of first appearances, and I'll, I'll even plug it because I use it. The CBSI first appearance list for Star Wars. If you don't have it bookmarked on hey, something, how you doing? Like, yes, exactly. <laughs> like you're, you're 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 missing it because I mean, like like you said about the news, the 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 villains are coming. And there's so many good villains in Star Wars, Star Killer, Darth Hayes. I mean, just like those I, those two, underrated right now. Star Killer, not so much, but yes. Ashtage Ventress. Yeah. yeah. There's there's a. I know she's super hot already, but how about, how about Demigol? Like Demigol is plays right into the Mandalorian scheme. I mean. Black Cassantin. Yeah. Yep. That's, One that's of the smartest guy. collectors I know believes that Asajj Ventress's first appearance in 9-8 will double uh, within the next year. What is her first appearance? Mace Windu, that Jedi. Jedi. Yeah. Number that's, one, I think. Yeah. They're so, so And I just sold the newsstand. I, I like, before he told me that, or I'd have kept it. All so, right. Uh, shall we jump into the, the Marvel stuff? Because it really, yeah, I think you were just talking about this one, right? Uh, it, it dovetails right into what Steve was talking about. You want to jump right in? Okay. Um, all new Marvel point one, number one, second print. There's 22 nine eights, mm. only 90 graded copies. Um, That's my tw- point, George. I mean, you can start on, man. Like, there's nothing. I mean, the, the well, supply of some of this stuff is staggeringly small like i think something are and obviously there's going to be more to hit the census but my god i mean that's nothing that's well, literally nothing you ready in 2018 and 98 ran you 399 dollars on average in 2019 uh, it was down to 318 bucks the 12 month average on this book is a little more than a grand uh, there's been one sale in the last 90 days I think the lowest uh, priced copy on eBay is almost twice this amount. Uh, the low sale in 2020 on this particular book, $291. Do you think Great. you could put up a 9.6 right now and get big money? Unquestionably. Um, but I, I believe it is, I believe it is a, a buy it now. Um, so to give you some reference, all new Marvel now point one number one, First print, uh, just take a guess how many graded copies there are, guys. We'll, we'll let everybody guess. Double, there's, 40. No, so, there's, there's, so there's 90 total graded copies of the second print. Uh, how one, many are of the first print? 200. No, it's got to be five, 600 or more. Keep, keep going. Yeah, who's next? Huh? 1,200. 1,375. Yeah, there's, a, there's a little more than a grand. Wow. Um, wow. That's surprising. Yeah. Uh, 244 nine eights, um, which is almost four times as many, uh, like, you know, three and a half times as many nine eights as there are total graded copies of the second print. Uh, now, the variant, the one in 75, I think that's the next slide. Uh, 71 total graded copies. So the Six, second print is still even more rare than this one. N- well, I, I don't think copies so. wise? I, no, definitely not. Uh, but damn close. Sixteen nine eights. There's twenty two nine eights of the second print. Uh, now, allegedly, there was that warehouse find of this yep. book. I don't know if that's true or not. I, I, nobody offered them to me. Um, I'm interested. If uh, you're out there. Um, yeah, I've never seen this one out in the wild. Now, I, I'm probably responsible for three or four of those second print 9.8s. And, you know, but, yeah, I know that I, uh, I've i been able to experience the rise over time. And currently I'm, I'm, I'm holding um, one or two of them. And I think one or two in 9.6 as well. So... Um, yeah, what about, would you crack those and, and send them back in? Because the reason I'm asking these questions is because I have a nine six. Nico knows this. I just got a nine six back. Oh, yeah, you gotta, crack, you, you, gotta, you gotta resend, you gotta resell yeah. it, buddy. Right? Well, you gotta, 
Well, you got those braided corners because it's such a thick book. I think that's one of the reasons why there was such a low. Um, and and to be honest, I mean the, these these uh, were littering five below bags, you know, back in in twenty fifteen. And yeah, you know, can, Steve, can you elaborate on the idea of how hard this is because it's a bigger book? Right. So it you know who knows how many pages? I don't know offhand, but it's it's got to be at least double double size. Uh, double the number of pages of, uh, of a typical book. So what what happens, and especially I'm telling you, there they were just there were a ton distributed through Five Below. So with those thick books, you get the little corner tears at the bottom of the spine, binary the tears, at the top of the spine, right? But and then are those supposed to be okay in grading? You know, because of that's like okay. a, a manufacturer defect type thing. Well, well, but I, I know when I've looked at my nine eights and nine sixes, that's been kind of the difference. Maybe, maybe the nine eight has maybe one spine corner that's that's braided, and maybe the nine six has the top and bottom. Yeah. So, so. It, the explanation that um, Matt gave us of what is a nine nine, what is a ten, uh, was really books that lacked those kinds of defects um you know so when we talk about like you know they're, they're binary tears they don't count the fuck they don't um <laughs> they just don't count as much as they would on a normal book right um you right. know if it's that's basically the the uh best way I can kind of describe it from what I took from his conversation with me. And, and you're more than welcome to listen to that. I will say this, the, 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 whatever the paper they use for this cover picks up ticks like it's nobody's business. Amen. And they yeah, show really terrible clear as day on the first know. print, second print unquestionably. Right. So there's something about the paper that they use for this particular issue that the ticks fucking just shine like, you know, well, I think it's regular paper plus that 170 million page count is like the perfect <laughs> recipe for uh, defects galore up and down that spine. Sleepy John uh, is the one who hipped me to that before these books took off. He was just like, yeah, good luck finding one raw in 9-8 condition. You have no shot. But the fact that ones that, that don't have the, the braided corners exist – um, I think set the baseline for nine eight, so it's possible. I'm not a big resubmitter, but you, you, you and it, this shows that we're all constantly learning is, you know, maybe I will go and and resubmit and and see what happens. Um, but um, I just spent thirty dollars on worse things. You know what yeah. I mean? And I don't do it myself. I, like I, I feel like I should be doing it more often, but. I, on big books like that, it just makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got uh, Dollar Ben in the house. What's up, Richie? Um, you guys, I'm going to jump. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Have a great show. It was nice hanging out. I'll uh, see you guys later. Right. All right, guys. Have a good up. night. Later, bro. All right, guys. I want to keep moving through uh, these books as best I can uh, without Brian here. Um, expect a lot of glitches. So I had this. I had this book in my hand, and I said, this is when I first started collecting this, there's no way I'm paying $50 for a book. Yeah, I, this uh, this yeah. pains me to see because uh, I'd have been a buyer at this price in that grade. Um, it's a gorgeous copy. Uh, there are 59 total graded copies in any grade. Only 24 nine eights. It is unquestionably uh, the rarest of these uh, Kamala books that's moved um, it, no, no, it's the bubble gum. Come yeah. on, it's the it's a bubble gum cover. That's the reason why people are paying big bucks. Or, or it's the bubble gum. It does uh, come in a premium. It does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so I'll, I'll move uh, on to the next one. Um, I, I wanted to get your guys' take on uh, the, the continued incredible sales of, of Ice Cream Man. Uh, number one, it's unbelievable. We talked about it on an early uh, show. I remember getting poo-pooed 
uh, for being like, oh, what's the book to buy? It was obviously the 1A cover. I, I mean, that was a softball, and then somebody uh, who's no longer with us cried about it. But the point is, um, that book was like $50 at the time. It's now $250. There's 268 graded copies total. Um, but check this out. 224 of them are 9 8 hmm. um, There was a $550 9 8 sale in December. The 90-day average is 385 bucks. with the low sale uh, of a, a 9-8 in 2020 at $87. Do you uh, buy it? Do you buy it at this price? I mean, no. No, I'm not buying it. I bought my roommate a copy of uh, this book that I think is a tap-in 9-8 for Christmas uh, for like 100 bucks. Um, I was negotiating a, a like a multi-comic deal with a retailer and I was like, that's worth a hundred dollars or ninety five dollars. I think that's worth ninety five dollars. I'll pay you that amount, and then um, negotiated other prices. But I like, uh, uh, I like back issues of the series. But correct me if I'm wrong. But this was option for like Quibi or something like that, right? The, <laughs> the, the, like, the good, you ready? <laughs> the good news is that expired, and when it, it expired, it quit, Quibi went out of business, right? Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. They're gone. Yeah, yeah. So when it Inspired, the series went fucking crazy. Um, and, and like you said, the strange back issues, which um, I don't know who's buying them in my area, like the 250 mile radius of my home, but they're gone. Is anybody yeah. reading this or are the people just buying this shit for the cover at this point? It's no, I've, I've read it. Yeah, I, I, it's fucked up to read. I don't know. I, I, it's, <laughs> I, I wish Dino was here. He just started reading it and he's been enjoying it. I like um, it. I like it. I read the first uh, five issues, and it's been pretty good. Um, the horror the, anthologies are different stories in each book, or it's yeah. just one. Yes, it's different yeah. different stories. Each yeah. book. I don't really like to shoot my own horn or anything like that. So that's not my uh, frog or motivation here. But I think like uh, beginning of summer or the midsummer, I told um, a friend of ours, newbie. Um, he asked me a book, a modern book that he wanted to invest in. He wanted to invest in around uh, 50 to 100 bucks. And I looked at Ice Cream Man and I said, you know, this thing is, I think it was right before the Quibi canceled, uh, you know, all that. I said, I know you're going to be spending between 60 to 80 bucks. I don't know what it is in Canada, but I think you should buy this book. I'm pretty sure he bought it and now he, sh he should be doing pretty good. Canadian money probably like 60 to 70 million. So yeah. what, what, folks, <laughs> what folks should know is that the Ice Cream Man character is a running thread through all the books, uh, through all the stories, right? Um, so it's almost like if the Crypt Keeper yeah, um, was that. in every Tales from the Crypt story, right. right? So I think that would be the big bet is that he becomes sort of iconic, like the, the clown from It, you know, one of those iconic horror uh icons <laughs> um but um hilarious yeah. yeah yeah but um but if if it if it doesn't get optioned again it's a wrap. it doesn't get made i think it just becomes another indie book like i'll say a sex criminals number 1 right that was just super hot people loved it but nothing's happened with it so it's really cooled off or witches, right? Or uh, you you can name a lot of image number ones uh, like this. You make I honestly think that book is. Um, hold on, hold on. I, 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 I got I, I got to say something real quick because I got to help my wife put up these um these things. Um, this ice cream man is the alley oop to fucking to Gallagher's ha 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 would be the slam dunk. Ice cream man was the alley oop. I'll be right back. Right, and there's also 400 uh, store variants with that. So. <laughs> um, I, right. you make a good, you make a good point, uh, Steve. But I, I guess I disagree to a certain point. I would okay. think a better con uh, comparison would be Saga. I know Saga is a mm -hmm. whole different story of what happened, but I think that Saga is one of those books that nothing's happening with. That is, you know, a modern gym, modern grill, you know, for lack of a better term. And I mm -hmm. think that Ice Cream Man could end up being that. You know, just for the cover art alone, and then you know your retailer order numbers. Plus, there's been a ton of hype. I don't think people are going to forget about this book. 
Carter, what were you trying to say? Oh, uh, I was going to say Saga. <laughs> uh, the book reminds me of Saga. <laughs> bang. Great minds. All right. Andy, show us some books. I know you got the cooler books there that I wish I knew what the hell they were. Holy shit. We can't hear you, buddy. Yeah, I'm sorry. The back issues on Ice Cream Man are crazy, man. Like, that's one. Uh, I don't, it was going for like 30 bucks. I don't know what it is now, but it's creepy as fuck. Here he's killed, killed the Lorax. That's number 20. The second print, I believe, the Dr. Seuss run that they had. Um, I mean, these guys, there, there's, there's just so many just effed up ones. I'm looking for some more right now, but, um, uh, yeah. the number 17, it's, it's um, clown, action right? comics variant, uh, action comics variant, that yeah. one, yeah. that yeah. might be the most popular one outside of uh number one. Yeah. I went here for a while. It was in a law for a while. I mean, I remember they yeah. got about eight, nine bucks and then, uh, it spiked again recently. Yeah, but um, going back to us, that ha ha, I'm telling you, ha ha is gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be the one. That's the that, Gallagher. I mean, the Gallagher cover is the the wanted comics exclusive. Yes, that's, that's yes. the one. That dude, because that clown, that clown, it's creepy. As I mean, fuck. this ties, this ties to ice cream man. Ice cream, ice cream man is not scary, but a clown. If you go, if you go back to the clown from um, American Horror Story. I, he's already a, a fan favorite, cult cult, cult favorite, or whatever. Um, it, of course, this clown. If they do, if they decide to do a TV series with this clown from Haha, ha, and this is this is future thinking. Haha, ha number one is going to be the book. Yeah, right. I can I can see that. I want to move right along. Bear with me. Let me see if I can do this. Son of a bean. Uh, hold on, guys. I think it was issue eight of Ice Cream Man has that clown cover also. That that usually yes, the Del Rey, yes, yes, definitely a respectable price. Uh, I remember picking that up not too long ago. What what issue was it? Because I'm gonna get it one right now. I think it's I think it's issue eight. Here was another big winner uh, out of the most recent slew of announcements. Thor number two, first appearance of Gore the God Butcher. There's six. 173 graded copies, 444 nine eights. Uh, the nine eight sale in December, the high price. Remember, this is a Canadian uh, raw. The if the smaller number, the U.S. Uh, is still monstrous. 319 dollars for a raw copy of this book. I literally takes my breath away. Uh, a nine eight sold in December for 800 dollars. The low sale in 2020 for a 9.8 was 133 bucks. Uh, what shocked me is the 9.8 uh, variant at 1161 dollars. Uh, I, 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 like I sold some up. I sold to trade for 225 dollars. Yeah, seems like a steal. <laughs> I mean, I, this uh, the A cover. I, I mean, just bizarre the amount of money people are paying for it. Um, low price for the variant in 2020 was 375 bucks. Um, I, you know, I, I get it. Uh, the character is awesome and the actor is, um, an A-list celebrity, uh, the likes of which, you know, maybe Marvel's never seen. Um, uh, but man, seems like a one and done. Am I out? To lunch here, or might, did I miss something? Or nine eights is still hitting five hundred. I don't know, but there was a nine eight sale for eight hundred freaking dollars. I mean, that raw copy was what three hundred and change. I was like, I'm talking about for the regular. For the regular, I'm talking about for the regular. That's my point. Yeah, that's wait, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah. You're missing my selling here, my friend. I, I mean, it makes no sense. Got it. Got a thunder first score. Two. I, I got. I had like seven of them. I don't know if I got any left. I got to go look now that there's a nine eight hit a nine eight eight hit eight hundred. Yeah. Hey, look, man, look at the shirt. <laughs> look at the shirt. <laughs> well, there's, uh, no, there's no way. It's no way. You may be onto something there. I mean, the <laughs> the price tag on the variant makes a lot more sense, right? Right. Um, right. And, and still, I'm never going to pay that amount. But like, I get that's a super rare book. I've had one copy. 
uh, in the last two years. Um, like I get it. It was, it was very difficult to find. You don't see them in back issue bins. Uh, you know, my God, when, when do you get, um, American psycho in an MCU movie? Like unprecedented, right? Um, but my, the a cover selling for that kind of price. I mean, eh. I got a theory. What okay. It's, um, it's people that are new to the market who don't know the pattern of who don't know the villain pattern when it comes to, um, when it comes to the movies, mm. that's that's what I'm thinking. It makes sense. Right, it's this five. You can buy one for five hundred right now. Okay. I still think that's too much money. Call but me crazy. Eight? Yeah. Of the A cover, <laughs> when the the nine eight of the one in what is it twenty five? Yeah. As a high sale of eleven hundred bucks. Yeah, I, I think Carter's onto something. Uh, you know, I think. You know, I think this will follow a typical pattern. Eight, 18 months after uh, or less, uh, after uh, Love and Thunder is released, uh, you know. Christian Bale. Who? Well, no. Well, you know, who, you're right. I, who knows if he plays them well, if he plays them not well, um, how well Natalie Portman's, you know, received, you know. Uh, people can be fickle with that. So, you know, there's a lot of variables and, uh, yeah. So, I, you know, I think I, I'll, I'll even go out on a limb and say, it'll be worth half as much, you know, 18 got, got, months after release. Got, got a 32, 90, last one sold today for $438.67. Yeah. That seems reasonable, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's I, 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 I mean, yeah, it's dropping at announcement. It was going for five. I mean, if you want to wait until you see them in the trailer, they'll go back up to five, five fifty. Um, the low point for at this point right now, I'm projecting it to be at about four. Yeah, Defer now for the Defer record, that eight hundred dollar sale is is for two covers. For two is on, G is on GPA, bro. What do you mean? No. Yeah, look it up. What date? What's the date on that? I don't fucking know. What, I'm good. I'm not that good. I don't know these things. Oh, no, you wait. just look it up on GPA. GPA should have no, that no. shit. I'm sure they do. Mel, are you talking about that that sale had two different books in it? Because I kind of remember seeing one. Yeah. For, and they, uh, yeah. they may have looked. That's interesting. So they missed got, that. Got, got, got it for number two and six. 9.8 sold yes. for 899 best offer. Well, yeah. there's an $800. There were two books uh, in that sale because I was watching them sale too. in December. Uh, December, to, yeah, the, December 23rd, 7 o'clock. Yeah, I don't know why GP doesn't have this shit because eBay has it. Uh-oh. We'll have to call <laughs> GPA headquarters. I don't know if there is that, a GPA headquarters, but... Matter of fact, let, let's go to let's go to Southern Peak and see what it sold for. And if it says 800, then GPA got some spending into it. Yeah, hey, I'm, looking at I'm it. looking at it in Terra Peak, and the 800 was a God of Thunder number two and six and number six. Yeah, you go. Yeah. And GPA misrecorded it. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghetti breaking out. news. They go. They, that's breaking, me. breaking news. GPA is fallible. Who to guess? All right. <laughs> I, I think I watched it. Still. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys yeah, clearing that up for me. And uh, great evidence of the fact that you guys are, are better than machines. I freaking love it. Good stuff. Hey. All right. Because if that shit would have sold for 800 I would have been right upstairs right now in record time. <laughs> My fat ass to get upstairs. <laughs> and would have been listening to that book. <laughs> Were you, uh, what, was it Thursday that Disney had the investor meeting? Was it a Thursday or a Wednesday? I it was don't remember. Thursday. What it was Thursday. Mm -hmm. it Thursday. Was Thursday. Okay. Thursday will so, never forget. So, <laughs> yeah. Disney so, Shima. I immediately go and look up Thor God of Thunder because I don't have a 9.8 like graded. I've got like three copies. I haven't submitted any of them yet because I haven't submitted anything yet. But I'm like, I'll just get a 9.8 now and I'll sell my Raws to make up for that because they were going for like 250. Yeah. I, I look and I'm like, okay, okay. I flip to the next one. Eh, all right, all right, all right. Save another $20. Go back. They're all gone. Yeah. They were, they, were, they were flying. In 30 seconds, every 9.8 on CGC that Thursday night sold in about two, three minutes. Like everyone I went back to, well, I'll just go back to this one and pay another extra $20 and gone. Like your item is gone. Either that or people are pulling them and 
uh, you know, marking the prices up or who knows, but I, was I don't told, know if they were told. I was told to pull all my Canon number ones. And I did. I don't know why. <laughs> but I was told to pull all my Canon number one. Yeah. So take that for what it's worth. All right. One last uh, book I, I want to hear you guys uh, talk about. Um, this is a raw comic listed as perfect sealed nine six nine eight question mark and uh in a live auction it brought four hundred and sixty four dollars and thirty one cents uh to a canadian buyer uh or an american uh from a canadian buyer um i'm not gonna say anything else i'll let you guys talk Anytime you see the so, word yeah. sealed in an eBay listing, um, yeah, uh, especially followed by 9.6, 9.8. Yeah, yeah just make sure, make sure. <laughs> because people think that pe the, the comics come in bags and boards and therefore they are sealed. Um, I mean, it even worries me. Like, what do I see in the upper left hand corner there? Maybe well, that's just the light reflection, but I'm. Almost like did they did they hang it up? I, I think it's just the light reflection. Or yeah, or the thing is, is that uh, and I, I think that's a, and Carter are probably taking the same thing to me. But with this this sealed this sealed uh, poly bag Ultra Fallout Four has this gnarly uh, crease in the back cover that goes from top to bottom, and usually it just goes through the first and second page, but the recent one. I had to press 11 times in hand um, but I mean, this thing went through the book. Luckily, there's no broken color, but that color, I, I, I've, I've bought at least 30 of these, minimal. No, okay, maybe a little exactly, maybe 20 of these, and I've pressed and, and sold, and every single one had that gnarly crease from top to bottom that's at least a half inch, you know, by seven and a half it, it is not near me. That is not a near me. Mm. Fuck your foot. You know, it's crazy. None of my raws had that crease. I, I have two, and I found them half price books, but neither one of them had the crease. Everybody talks about were they, were there's were they all poly bag or not? No, some of them were, some of them were. I don't know the numbers. Dead might know them. Okay. The numbers, but uh, that makes sense. At least twenty of them, every single one. Like I said, the last one I had, I got off Amazon. That thing went through the whole book. Oh, yeah. Do you guys think there's wow. any um, collectability to polybagged books uh, now that everybody and their brother is taking them out? Um, at, conventional wisdom has been for as long as I can remember, uh, since, you know, micrograding began, get those damn books out of the poly bags yeah. before you damage them. And as I sit here today, I've never, um, wanted poly bag books more in my collecting career, uh, since that was like back in the nineties. Uh, I just wonder if there's, uh, sometime down the road going to be a market for uh, books that are still in the bags. I and still have five room. copies of uh, ultimate fallout four and uh, they're still in the bag. I, <laughs> I, I can't do, I can't pull them out. I'm too old school. I got, I got to keep them in there. Yep. So, so, so let me go back and um, I, I, I didn't realize that the, the ultimate fallout first print was, was, sealed in a poly bag so my bad but um i'll make it up i'll make it up with this piece of information so one thing i look at when someone's i just i just never li list books at not at at near mint mint oh no that's a it's terrible just, idea so, <laughs> now i was curious so i went to this listing and i wanted to know how much feedback this person had they have 400 uh -oh. 35 wow. which is not you know still do doesn't you know um not a mass seller but right know. not a mass yeah. seller 
they have one negative feedback in the past six to 12 months. You want to know what it is? Oh, boy. Not near mint mint. Ultimate Fallout 4, near mint mint, first sealed. Negative feedback is polybag crease, officially a CGC 9.2. Woo! <laughs> which oh, is what Rich, Rich was saying. and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he resold the same damn book. That's fucking hilarious. Nice. Not for the buyer. Uh, but important for you guys as prospective buyers to pay attention um, to that issue. I, you know, I, I don't know. I I like the idea of having a, a polybagged copy of that book. I have one um, that I haven't graded, that I haven't taken out of the polybag for that reason. Um, it, it's just something, maybe it's just because I'm a collector of the 90s who's lasted this long. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, what? Best poly bag or the most uh, highest fair market value book that you can think of that was poly bag besides besides Ultimate Fallout Four. Midnight. Oh yeah, not I can't think of anything. Yeah, the the only book that I I can think of that potentially has value um, that that's underestimated is X Force One the newsstand with the Deadpool card. When you string all those together, there's not, <laughs> you get them all. not too many of them. There's not too many of them out there. Uh, that would be the one that I would be out there chasing. Um, the newsstand polybag Deadpool card. So Yeah, now there's there's other things that I think are interesting, right? Like those G.I. Joe uh, packs, um, the Transformers packs that have the yeah. second prints in them. There's a Power Rangers pack. Uh, there's the McFarlane Batman pack. Uh, I mean, there's stuff like that. But again, that's interesting to me. Uh, I'm sure Steve can rattle off a thousand more uh, examples. Well, let me add one um, which came to mind, which is Batman 47, New 52. Um, that month, DC ran a Harley's Little Black Book oh, variant yeah, program. Yeah, yeah. And there was the pencil the inked and the color um so and there was the regular cover so there were four different uh covers um the batman 47 alex ross color uh in cgc 9.8 is uh over 300 bucks um and i just came across one in the wild it, it wasn't a 9.8 unfortunately but it's still you know a decent book raw um and definitely graded and those came poly bagged yeah, the Thundercats one came poly bag too. Oh, did it? Thundercats fan, so yeah, that's, oh, that's okay. It's becoming okay. harder and harder to find as well. So yeah. everyone's talking about Thundercats. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't it was an underground sensation for like a lot of people that are our age. <laughs> underground. You know I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like GI Joe. Transformers, He-Man, and then like the cool kids were like Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats. Yes, yes. It was the smartest kids that were in the Voltron. The yeah, visionary well, kids were the real losers. The kids are macros. Visionaries, <laughs> visionaries for sure, dude. <laughs> Man, oh, shoot. Now, uh, did you guys bring any pickups? Yeah. Oh yeah. I got a week's worth of pickups. Andy, we'll start with you. We're, we'll just go uh, around the hall. All, right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You gotta, I got to get me good together. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. So. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me try to, uh, again, where's, most you know, where I need stuff, Here, most yeah. of my stuff right now is Star Wars that I'm picking up, of course. So, got a little Darth Vader 5. Okay. Uh, why is that important? Uh, there's some first appearances in here. Granov cover. Um, like I say, CBSI special. So Out of bang. Picking them, picking them off the first appearance list, man. If I can find them and find them cheap. Um, I picked up the set of episode one, Phantom Menace, and um, got that in there with it. I uh, paid 15 bucks for the set. And yeah, am I correct? That was uh, a contender on the 10 spec book list. Yes, it was. And I, like 
in the last week it's gone from like a twenty dollar book to right around a fifty to sixty dollar book now. So, hey, can I say something about that? Underrated, book? underrated. Yeah. Yes. Can I say something about that? Yes. Um, there is a um, th like I noticed there. There's a cardstock version, and that there's like a kind of like you know like the um, yep. flat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh shit. The card. Different? The cardstock is the the direct. If I'm not mistaken, now the direct, and it's got like gloss. It's like glossy. That so, shit is impressive. I mean, impressive. It shit is impressive. Yeah. Exactly. So okay. I think. If I'm and I'm thinking the newsstand is a different paper, I don't know. I've never had a newsstand of that one. So well, let's say newsstand. Am I wrong? I yeah. just want to be clear. That was number eleven on the list. Just missed out by like this big, and it should be resubmitted next week. So <laughs> number eleven on the top ten list. It should yeah, probably be hundred dollars by then. Yeah, no <laughs> yeah. sure. Are you yeah, sure that's right. not a newsstand? No, it's not. It's uh, well, I say it's not. It should have the Star Wars uh label in the news stand right that's direct yep. direct oh so. no i just say direct my yep. bad no both both uh the direct that like they both have they're both oh, so direct rich editions uh, so there's two versions of the direct a deluxe right right, 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 right. Now, now that is interesting uh that's something that we haven't talked about we could do i see this is i'm gonna fucking run my mouth and now ultra is gonna tell the whole world about it yeah when you're moonlighting on your other show you can get some content Sorry, shit about my man. Don't there's, uh, any shit. Got it. there's uh <laughs> there's an entire run of marvel um books that had the deluxe and these like standard covers I think there's a, a an incredible uh, opportunity to make some money on those books, um, and, and this is in that same vein. Yep, I uh, I agree. These are the other three that were with the the set of the four. Um, so a couple more first appearances in there. I like I like this book, the mm -hmm. Star Wars Legacy Forty One. Uh, the mm -hmm. got a Mandalorian story in there. Uh, You're writing that uh, shit down. You know, you, you never know what they're going to go Get after. Get the legal pad. I'm writing it down. Here it comes. <laughs> so, also got Star Wars Legacy 25. More first appearances in that one. Um, and this one, it looks really good. I, I'd be surprised if it's not a 9 8. So, that's uh, one. Then I got Star Wars The Last Jedi. I don't know. I just like that cover. It's not worth shit right now, but you never know. Um, I got a Grievous yeah. cover, number five, uh, Incentive. Like I say, again, not worth a whole lot, but it's with Star Wars right now. You, you, you just. I mean, did we? I, just, just a question. Did you, did you like Grievous as a character when he first came out? Oh, I thought he was corny as fuck. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't really like him, but uh, I, I don't know. Great. Joy Joy made I everyone like he had so six. Six fucking lightsabers at one time. Now that was that, that wasn't. He, he, he killed Jedi to get him. That was, that was <laughs> all right. Yeah, um, the Old Republic. I uh, I like that. Oh one. wow, nice. Long term. Yeah, sick book. Uh, Star Wars: Knights of the Republic War. I don't know why the hell I I, I don't I want to say there's a first in that one, but I I can't I can't remember off the top of my head. And then I also grabbed. The Star Wars Episode One. It's like the one shots. I got the Qui Gon Jinn, which some people are like saying Maul's early Maul, but it's not the right book. Uh, <laughs> Anakin Skywalker, uh, Padme, or whatever. Uh, Obi Wan, one shot as well. And then I got the Star Wars four. Uh, there was there was like a, like going back to that. There was like a like a, a animation cover uh, of, of that, and that was the oh that's the that's the mall book. I said that was not. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, that, yeah. that ain't yeah. fucking that ain't it. No, no, that's not it. I think it was Tova's fucking crazy. Uh, Tova uh, <laughs> Tova put them all back in his, in their place on that one. I think. And then I had <laughs> damn, I can't find that one I just had, but probably because it's so tiny. I found another one of these. Um, Dude, that's strong, that's, bro. Yeah, 
That's I go uh, in DVD stores looking for that freaking book, and I still haven't found any. What, what, is, what is it? Is that the Ash Pan? Or what is it's, it? Uh, yeah. It came with a video game, uh, the PlayStation wow. game. Yeah. And it's uh, the first, first slash second of uh, Star Killer. Yeah. Is that it. a comic, though? Yeah, no, it's a comic. It's 100% a comic. Yeah. Yeah. You're not looking for the instruction manual, so don't no. screw it up. There's a yeah. you know what I mean? It'll have both inside of it. So I go yeah, like, I don't know the way the, the, way the bargain is going there. Fucking oh, instruction manual predates. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's definitely a comic. So yeah, and they're getting pricey as hell. What's the that's, game? That's a great find. Force yeah. Awakens two. Remember, yeah. it's on all the different platforms. Yep. The Force Awakens too. So it's a, and there's a white one of these that's uh, I think Topher actually ran it down and it's uh, or Peter one of the one of the two guys over there. Uh, it's uh, it was distributed overseas, so it's it's a lot harder to find than. Uh, yeah, but did did, did Star Killer debut in the first Force Awakens? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Yes, and that's I think. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't know I don't know yeah. enough about them. But right. So look, there's an early insider, a Star Wars insider appearances of him. Uh, there's a trade paperback that's awesome too. No, eight comics, man. Trade paperbacks are in fact comic books, Mel. They're not. They're not. <laughs> They're not. I mean, this is like that one time when you tried to tell me a cameo wasn't a thing. I, I'm just gonna try to humor you for. So what, 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 did say, what did I say? A cameo wasn't a thing. It was on a prior podcast, but we can just return to great <laughs> paperback. Paperbacks and then there's floppies, single issues. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to – we're just going to keep going. But anyway, uh, any other books, Andy? Nope. That's it. I'm all out. Nice. Good stuff. Yep. Thank Carter? You. Uh, hit, come back to me. Come back hey, to me because I still got to dig. Yes. Steve? Would All you right. like to diplomatically explain why a trade paperback is, in fact, a comic book? You know, I don't... <laughs> he doesn't I, even agree with you. What the fuck I, you talking about? I don't, I don't <laughs> like to get involved in these, uh, he, he's you just know, the cameo versus the first appearance. I, I'm not just... But, but I, mean, I mean... I mean... Uh, no, so is the I killing joke not comic? Real, can, I, I, I think this say maybe it depends on the trade paperback if it's... I don't got, know. Got can pictures I just on my it? book? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, can show the book. you can show the books. Sorry, oh, but All right, mybargaincomics.com. You know, we've got the guide to DC. How the comics. fuck did you, pardon my French? Did you find that? I because I, I I know this is really hard because they released three versions in 1996, and then they updated it in 1999. And like one of the cover, uh, one of the changes to the cover was they had uh, Superman's X-ray vision. Uh, so this was the, um, can you explain the, to people what that is? Uh, yeah. So this is a, a comic book distributed by UNICEF and DC to warn kids in Serbia and Croatia, uh, not to go around mines. Otherwise they blow up. So they printed up in three different languages and then updated it in 1999. And this was one of the changes for that. That wow. is that. And then we are working on at mybargaincomics.com, the Marvel got the My Bargain Comics Guide to Marvel promo comics. So this is the Payless Shoe uh, variant to Ultimate Spider Man 1. See, no, uh, no UPC. Nice. One, one more Marvel promo comic. Uh, this was um, Madness and Murder World. Uh, it was a PC, I think it was a PC game, that uh, and the comic came with the uh, the game. So wow. you've got arcade there, Magneto. Steve, so, you're killing it! Holy shit, man! Yeah, I, I just love the promo stuff. You should see. I've got a whole uh, reprint, um, all the uh, Toy Biz reprints, but I'm, I'm not even going to show them. Here's uh, something you'll like, Nico. Yeah. Under the Hawkeye, the Women of Power variant. She could make Beautiful. me feel the same way Clinton Barton feels on that cover. <laughs> yeah, you know, until I read the um, uh, the series this past week, I didn't even realize like she 
it's it's kind of unusual these days. She, you know, she comes from a wealthy background and everything, so it's kind of uh, very interesting. Um, Carter hates that cover. He, just, he just dropped the video. He said he's he doesn't like it. Really? Okay. Yeah. Car All right, bro. Yeah, it, that it was put, a big thing I got it, out it of this. Very, very submissive pose. He's like, nah, I'm not down with it. <laughs> yeah. I've talked I'd about this. As 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 spec, but I haven't really bought into it until now, and I, I got it really cheap. So th these came out in lentic lenticular versions, but these are the more rare 2D versions, and this is the first time that both Steph and uh, Cass appear as the Batgirls, and nice. it has Tiffany Fox as a Batgirl as well. Nice. So, um. You know, for for real cheap spec to see um, whether this Batgirl's concept holds and what the future holds for Tiffany Fox, yeah, it's worth That's it. Smart man, uh, smart stuff. Yeah. Here's another long shot one, um, but you know, if it's cheap, uh, th this is the Nightwings, including um, an African American uh, Nightwing. Um, so that might be um, something. Who knows with. Um, uh, the future state and beyond, you know, what happens. So Nightwing 52 rebirth. I figured I'd pick up a copy. Um, this one, I, I don't know about, but I, I picked up two of the Groot. I think four is considered the first baby Groot, right? Um, but, I think that the variant for that one was that yeah. nine. Right? Is that nine well, or which was that? Uh, five. This is five. I, I think that was um, a variant with, um, uh, somebody was coming out of the water. I can't remember. I can't remember. Yeah. So who who knows? Um, this one I talked about. Uh, well, this character I talked about last week after I read Secret Invasion, um, and you know Marvel Boy plays a, a pretty big role in that. Um, so this I you know and this heated up. I think um with the last Guardians run when they were slowly revealing who was going to be the main um uh characters in the guardians so yeah it's a, it's a marvel number one um still still hoping you know dc does the trench movie so this is the first amen trench you know <laughs> uh, i don't know from, from what i heard about wonder woman i mean people didn't like it i, I bet well, that might have been the last maybe, dc movie <laughs> maybe they can do horror right you know you this like one it? i recommend i love wonder movie. woman Oh, good. Always one. pick up. What is uh, that, Steve? That the Green Lantern fan. This is the first like, cameo. Sinestro core. It's a bunch. I think it's a bunch of firsts. But there's also a um, a second print that's in a gray tone. Um, so I think that's. I always pick them up when I see them. I got a a mid grade newsstand recently as well. This one is a freaking ghost. Yeah. I didn't realize it. I actually got two copies. But, uh, <laughs> that what is it? <laughs> so that's um, the the last issue of Unbelievable Get Gwenpool. Let me uh, try to. Um, we twenty five and a C. I think that's the B. They're both fucking ghosts. The yeah, and A is hard enough in its own right, but right. that's the B Ooh. and the C. The, the the C is the the Bartel, which is yeah, the Bartel. That's the that's the one I got. Yeah, that's the one I found two weeks ago. <laughs> but wow. this is this is um I think Shira Hama didn't she do one of the Miss Marvel covers that yes. that blew up right the uh, is that the one with the um her and Howard the Duck yeah I think so yeah so yeah was, yeah so that, yeah no. so that, 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 right. that would be how would how would the duck uh oh, nine yeah. or six yeah the organ I call it the organized confusion cover because she's in a <laughs> bunch of shit with a whole bunch of shit going on. Um, this is uh, uh, one of those legacy second prints. I love um, that book. It's still really cheap. It's impossible to find in the wild. I didn't. Can you get them on eBay? Yeah, you Walmart can. Pack. You can, and, and pretty right. cheap. It's 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 uh, it it hasn't blown up. So, but it nice. you know, you know, people argue over three, this. Three man, right? three, three man. All right, <laughs> Team Mel on this one. I don't know, man. It says Ironheart right there. I don't know. That's on the cover. So first appearance yeah. of fucking uh, uh, Gwimple is is, is, is a secret one. You tell me. <laughs> I, I, on the cover? 
I have both, so... No, no, hold on. Fuck this. We're going to clear this up right there. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Respectfully, Mel, uh, let's just keep going with Steve's books. Wow. But anyway... uh, I, I can't believe these books. I don't. I don't think this one is blown up yet. But if the Miles one has, I can't imagine that this one won't as well. And yeah, that tragically, one? the the Miles books back down because I, I. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Well, uh, Carter and I were at a uh, show, yeah. or no, we were at a shop, and I was like, "Go grab a stack of those. I have a stack. <laughs> Let's take them all." And uh, then I went home and looked them up, and they weren't worth like oh, whatever. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> How many did you get, Carter? I, I think just three. Okay. There's another um, Halloween Fest that just recently blew up. It was on the list somewhere. Which one is it? Another Halloween book? I remember? Yeah, it was a yeah. Yes, the the Mel's right. There, there's a Darth Vader three with uh, Afro. Yeah, Darth Vader three. Right. That's what Darth Vader three. Yeah. Oh. That one, you know. Nice. Okay. I didn't even know there was a thing. Okay. This one, th- this I'm going to consider this cornbread because I've been picking these up mm-hmm. and uh, get my pen out. I don't even know much about about the character. I just know it's a beautiful cover, um, and you know, Namor is so far into the future, yeah. and the artist, you know, so many people like like her. Um, mm-hmm. So this is uh, Stephanie Hans. Wow. Um, and it's a one-shot. I mean, how many people bought a Nomura one-shot? By the way, there is a variant to this by Ramona Fraden, um, which is also very, very good. So, um, that yeah, water looks cold. Yeah, I, I think you know. Eventually, right? I mean, they're they're going to get to name more in the extended uh, Atlantis family, right? New Avengers uh, second print by Finch. Nice. I never see a lot books. of them out there. I never yeah. see them. I don't even know. To, I, yeah. Wow. One Nova One Hip Hop C- Christian Ward. Love it. Nice. Yeah, this is a great one. Um, Christian Ward was was born to do this cover. I, I've seen some of his other work, um, and it and it can be um, hit or miss. But um, this one is hard. There's two Novas for hip hop variants. That one is a tough one. And the Scotty Young Nova. Yeah, Christian Ward recently did a couple. Uh, Something is killing children. Uh, Yes, sir. They're pretty good. I think number nine. What was the album What album was that? Uh, I don't know. Does does anybody know? I'm I'm going to. Here, I'll put it back. I don't mean mean to stall it. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm just curious. I, I, it doesn't. Does it ring a bell on what album cover swipe that would be? Oh, is that? Is this the chance the rapper? That would explain it, because I, I, I think I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's a- more more hip hop. I love that cover, dude. Uh, that is the best. That is hands down their best album. Yeah, and and it's really cheap. Yeah, this one is, dead is hands down their best album. Yeah, no, um, I'll, I'll fight people. <laughs> <laughs> that one has not blown up yet. This one hasn't blown up yet. Oh yeah, that's first one. Right? And this one hasn't blown up yet either. That's a good one, yeah. And here's uh If you ever see this one, this is like a $20 book. Tool it's rock and roll biographies number thirteen. I've seen them play five times. Yeah, there's um there's a metal version too of the the cover. Seen Purple Circle play three times. Yep, yeah, there's a sublime. Yeah, I just got that one. I just this 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 is a third print. Moon Knight. Oh wow. The, yeah. <laughs> I just grabbed that. I just grabbed that for a buck. <laughs> no. Wow. The other day, I paid a dollar fifty. Right, right. Great, nice. 
Great, great minds think alike. Right. And I think I showed you the guys on the pre-show this one. This is a yes. one in five variant. Love that. Empire. Yep. Yeah. The Dave Dorman variant. The actually, you know, people la labeled the Dorman, but it's pretty clear right here that it's uh, Gulesi. Paul. Oh, Gulesi. how about that? Yeah. Damn. yeah. Teaching me yeah. something there. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, we we're all, we're all learning. So um, I think that's most of what I got here. Let me see if there's anything. Would you get audition shit today? Um, no, the past week. Oh, I'm gonna say, goddamn. There is a first appearance that, here. I yeah. love that. I like that one too. Yeah, this one has a, a first appearance of a Jedi gone to Sith, so that's always a good. And then I'll I'll wind it up with just Heir to the Empire Six. I think Topher put new renewed yep. attention on this, right? Yeah. So, um, good stuff. Yeah. So, everybody, Steve, all I have. who wants to go next? Who wants to follow that fucking shit? I got a couple things. I got a couple things. Not not right. nearly that much. Not anywhere close to that. So I'm still grabbing. You know this, this Ironheart series. We talked about it before. It was under ordered forty thousand. There's a one in ten, one in twenty five. You see these Jamal, Jamal Campbell beast. Yeah. Wow. Grab them. Grab them. For sure. Uh, I grab all the Scotty Young stuff for the young, uh, young up and coming Marvel characters. You didn't get the one in fifty, Stephanie Hans. <laughs> I, I don't have the Hans, but I did the, the, the Bartel is the one that's near and dear to my heart. I think this thing is going to be an absolute monster. Yeah, I agree. Absolute yeah. monster. I like Hans so, too. I think that's a beast too. Um, the Butler. Um. You know, I think this is a, you know, we talked about um, on the top 10, uh, Richie's pick, um, first appearance, but this is the origin of, of, of the whole Winter Soldier thing. I think this book is wildly underappreciated. This is number 11. Oh, uh, right. You can find it for nothing, right? Uh, you oh. wouldn't pay anything for it, but, uh, you know, I think origin stories are going to come back. I think as collectors God, dig deep so. stuff. I mean, if you remember back in the '90s, right, in in Wizard, right, that had the first appearances and then Origins, right, you had the O with the with the with the colon, and um, <laughs> that, that, was a big, that was a big thing. Or the '80s, the eco <laughs> not, I guess. Like origin stories, like sometimes grab more money than the first appearances back in back the, in the 80s. day. Like, yeah, yeah. Totally. absolutely, because yeah. they were more interesting most of the time. Sometimes the first appearance, the character just showed up and that was it. And then the origin story, you got all the the meat. Right, all everything that really mattered. So, so I, I think as a trend in the future, we should keep an eye on that. I think origin stories may start fetching, fetching some money here. But who the hell knows? Um, this is a one in one hundred. Doesn't go for anything, but it's fucking awesome. Uh, it's beautiful cover. Love Daredevil. Um, so they say that um, all of these Disney Plus shows are going to introduce Young Avenger characters. So I was thinking about She-Hulk, and I think um, there's a chance that we may see Am Amadeus Cho show up. Whew. This cover is fucking amazing. So I, I, lo I love Ghost this. Face Killer. Yeah, Ghost of a Book. I've found zero. I've never yeah. seen it before. Yeah. Wow. This, this thing, uh, is it sweet or what? Yeah, th this may be the best of all the Totally Awesome Hulk covers regardless. Unquestionably. Um, Isn't that all uh, built for Cuban links? Is that the... Is that yeah. that was Raekwon, right? Yeah. No, that was Ra um Raekwon the chef. Yep. You yeah. sure that was a, that was a, yeah. that, that was in a ghost? No. Yes, yeah, uh, Raekwon. Yeah. Oh, Raekwon. I'm sorry. Yeah. I said yeah. Chris Killer was not. It's Raekwon. You're right. Um, there's two one in twenty five for that totally awesome Hulk. This one goes for nothing. The the more expensive one is sort of uh, it shows both Amadeus and Hulk, and he's kind of turning into Hulk in it. This one. That's whatever. all. It's pretty cool in its own right, but doesn't go for much. I'd grab it. Hell yeah. It. I didn't even realize that was a one in twenty-five. Yeah. I didn't know like, that cool that, that cooled off a bit. It's I, cool. I would go uh, it's a, it's time to be buying these books, I think, just because Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. The, especially the one you're talking about with um he grows into the Hulk. The, the, that thing went crazy. That that fucking book went 
Is no. that a hundred now? What is it at now? And maybe what? I think it's a hundred now. I think that thing was oh, hitting so 100? 100 bucks for a while, like a short period of time. Yeah, I sold one for like a nine eight for like four twenty five and got out. Um, that was not at the peak. Yeah, that, that thing that thing went parabolic in like a six day window or something. Whatever, it was nuts. Um, well, none of those are cheap though. I mean, fuck the hip hop variant. You can't find for a reasonable sum. Uh, on ebay yeah i mean i love that hip-hop one you can still find that in the back issue bins and stuff i mean i grabbed one the other day for seven bucks or something wow um, nice, but um dude. well done um, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't submittable but whatever i still had to grab it so um and then just a couple of hawkeye stuff i mean we've talked about this i got this for 35 it seemed like a too cheap to pass up um makes sense um is that then, is that a noto phil noto or Granov. No, that's uh, Granov. Granov, okay. Yeah. Very nice. I, um, that book hasn't gone up in value since it fucking came out, and it was $35, like, the day it was yeah, released. Shit. I know. You know it's, what I mean? I, like, I love that book. I have the copy that I paid, like, that price for back then. Uh, yeah, I, I paid on it, it would be blowing up. Well, my, these next two books will address it. The car, The art is almost too clean for the story, if you will. Yeah. Right? Makes sense. So, so, so these are the books for that that I love. The, the third prints. They may not be the rarest, but they're the coolest looking. Nice. Um, so it's one and two. I still, I'm still out hunting these when I see them. I absolutely love them. They're just, they're just stunning to look at. So, um, um, you know, for me, they're my favorites. And then for, for that book, and then the last book. I was debating with Phil the other day, like what you know, um, Storm Ranger coming back. Right. Um, yeah. Marvel needs a yeah. badass villain, and this is kind of a badass character. These are both second prints. Like, what is the right book to play oh. for, for Storm Ranger? Because you know, issue nine's her first cover, right? But she doesn't appear inside. So Mel, we can't count that one, right? So, um, <laughs> um, so uh, ten, the, the, you know, ten. She makes a cameo. You know, eleven is definitely. Where the hell's eleven? I lost it. Eleven's a first full, so I don't know. Like, but, but these are all have like six three thousand four hundred bucks. What's that? Didn't someone have six as the first appearance? I want to say that, that's the well, costume. All, 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 all those you 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 um held up uh, second second prints. Those are all seconds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She so what is, what, is the the what is the first what is the first print that she appears in the book? She the first print is not is ten in the back. It's it's basically. This picture on the final page, more or less, of, of okay. the first print. So, why well, wouldn't that 10 first print be the first print? Oh, it's a know. shitty cameo. Yeah, because that's just it. Okay, so I mean, why, not, uh, why not 11 when she's actually in the book? So, 11, right? Yeah, so is this is, is, the question? Is, no, but is that's, the second, that's the second print. That's the second print. Yeah, but this is she's on the cover. So there's, there's, there's the, the cover of 11 is just, you know, Ms. Marvel, whatever. You know, because she shows up in the cover, and there's a hell of a lot less of these. I'm thinking that there's more there's more room to run in some of these. What the fuck is going on? Hold on. Yeah, um, it's it's complicated. Uh, 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 right? uh, okay. I, so, so, so base base based on your theory, a uh, lot, lot less more books. Why wouldn't you go Iron Man three? It's a lot less of them out there. Plus, it's a one in twenty five of a lot less book. And she's and in the book. She says Ironheart. She wears the arm in the book. Oh, we're tying this back to Ironheart. <laughs> yes, I'm going by your logic, though. I'm going by your logic. Is this, is this, is this literally about, logic. about like Iron Man three? The ratio of variant being cool. I'm going by. I'm just going by. I'm just going by the think, logic. Yeah, but again, Mel, I don't think anyone would discount that that fucking variant is awesome. It's the first more than that. Yeah, I don't know Iron about Iron. all that shit, uh, but it's an awesome. So then, so, so then that's that first. That's that first. Um, Storm Ranger. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to. I don't, <laughs> I'm not, you. I don't know what. It's not really about Storm like. Is. Is. <laughs> you fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make, I think it's just make, to cover all your bases. Make appearances convenient, man. Fucking. Yes. Make Steve say that one more time. Let's just make appearances convenient. Cover all your bases. Yeah, yeah no no question. Question. all right, cool. Yeah, sorry, no, no, that, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> all right, who wants Mel? Yeah, I got an iHeart 3 and a trade paperback. 
My man. <laughs> My man. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, I found I found a bunch of copies of these this week. So uh, Dark Horse presents number seven. Who is she? The first appearance of this character right here. Naomi Sunrider. Sunrider, yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. I, nice. I noticed that these are like I saw brisk sales uh that week of this book, and I'm like, all right, but they you know they're not selling for a lot, you know She's what I'm saying? She's the first Dark Horse uh, yeah. Star Wars character. Okay, all right, all right, it's all That's good. It. Yeah, started from the bottom, right there. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Also, um, I talked about this uh, newsstand copy of Star Wars Rogue's X-Wing Rogue oh, wow. Squadron Handbook. Yep. Uh, the, cool. the last sale of this that I saw was for like 100 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, well done, yep. sir. Let's, let's right. get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Bitter root, oh, oh. yes, sir. Found that for cover price. I was yes, surprised. Oh. Was very surprised it was still there. Well done, sir. Okay, uh, a couple copies of Daredevil, uh, 609 second print, uh, first, first appearance of uh, Vigil, first, cam okay. first cameo, first cameo. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, um, I know this book was hot for a hot minute. So I don't know about now, but you never know. So I picked these up for cover price. Depp, gorgeous cover. Gorgeous cover. Like yes. Gorgeous ass cover. Gorgeous cover. Oh, also. <laughs> and, all right. I'll you know what? I want to show you guys some books that I'm kind of specking out on real fast. Um, all yeah, new I love it. Guy. All new Hawkeye. What number is this? Number four. This is the Cho variant. Is this a Mike Cho? It's got to be a Ch Michael Cho. Yeah. Michael Cho variant. Uh, awesome. This book doesn't go for shit. Really? It's yeah. beautiful, though. It's, yeah, it's a gorgeous cover. Mm -hmm. and it, do it doesn't sell for anything. Um, all you know, the covers in that run amazing? It I, seems, it seems like, like it. Yeah. It does seem that way. Yeah, because they're all kind of different. You know, they're just all di They're all. It's going on the they, list. Going on the list. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I want somebody to talk to me about this book. Somebody talk to me about this. That is a gorgeous cover. So we have oh, wow. uh, uh, Batman widening. Is, is it Jire or Geyer? But either I way, ask Kevin Smith. Oh, right, right, right. So Batman widening Jire number six. This is a one in twenty five variant. This book is. This is a weird book. I see. Uh, graded copies for like, like nine. There's like nine sixes available for like three, four hundred dollars. Uh, nobody's buying uh, raw copies. I, I I never see raw copies of this ever huh. online. Um, I've never even seen that shit. Oh, it's a it's a fucking monster, dude. This is a tough book. Like I've like I saw this book like for a million years for twenty five dollars. And then it went on sale for cover price, so I finally bought it. Wow! And yeah, so uh, so this is not Catwoman. This is, uh, I believe, Silver Saint Cloud. And um, and then the story she is getting married to, like, like Bruce Wayne and Silver Saint Cloud, they're both getting married to each other, and um, something happens and they break up. But I, it's just a great looking cover and I just don't see it. I see no info on it. I see no past sales of it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's an enigma to me. Never seen it before. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, it's a ghost. I, I, uh, I can't believe you, you saw one in the wild and didn't fucking buy it the moment you saw it and waited for it to go on cover. I'm cheap. You're a, you're a fucking animal. <laughs> I'm cheap. I'm cheap. I'm telling you. You just, you just don't know. You don't know how cheap I am. All right, um, I don't know if I've talked about this book at all or not. Team El Chico. So Captain uh Sam Wilson, Captain America number five, first appearance of the new Falcon, and this is the second print. Second print. Magnum. Uh, I, I know th I think this book is starting to do a little something. It's, yeah, it, I wonder it why. Be, it wants to be somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wants to be somebody. Okay, uh ba 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 ba. You know what? Let's do some second prints. Let's do some second prints. 
Um, infamous Iron Man number one. Oh, yeah. shoot. I am stuck. Okay. AI, Tony Stark AI. Exactly. This book was hot about a year ago. I remember. I didn't even know there was a second print. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, sir. Yeah, for sure. I'm buying the dumbass ratios. We're, like, de we're, definitely, we're definitely going to see AI Tony Stark. No, I'm that's your book, right? You want to talk yeah. about fucking trade paperbacks, not being comic books and. Uh, Ironheart three and other dumb shit. This is your <laughs> This is uh, your yeah. spec. This is you my spec. Like three years ago on Ult on Principal Defects or two years ago on Principal Defects. So uh, the one in twenty five. <laughs> Everybody laughs at me saying we're not gonna see AI. I tell you, I forgot it. Uh, whatever. <laughs> that cover is hot. That one. That one in twenty five is hot. For sure. Yeah. Rev it. Uh, rev it. Okay. Uh, Go Go Power Rangers number eight. First appearance of this uh, character. The what is this? The Ranger Slayer. Ranger okay. Slayer. All right. So uh found that for cover price. I passed on a Go Go Power Rangers number one for twenty five percent off of fifty dollars today. I, that was a no brainer. That's super overpriced. Or am I dumb? Yeah, uh, so I that's so think that's overpriced. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. Even, I didn't even bother to look it up. I was just like, no. Right. 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 Those rare, okay. rare Power Ranger books, though, man. There, there is a market for those. I will say that. I want the Fruit of the Looms one if anybody ever finds one for me. I'll yeah. pay whatever market is. You All and right. a million other people. I want to talk about um, the second prints for um, Thor God of Thunder. So I have completed the set. No oh, shit. Uh, yes. Okay. So we have number one. Uh, ba, 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 ba. This one, how much is this one going for? I want to say it's going for like maybe 30 30-ish. What's the two-second print sell for? Uh, number two second print, it's actually going for about as much as the first print. Okay. It's it's like they're neck and neck. They're I neck mean, that neck. seems like a much smarter buy to me. This one? Yeah. I've, been look, I've been looking. I can't find it. I mean, that's... I was say, if you can find it, but... Yeah. We're not all Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, does anybody remember when this first, when this book, when uh, number two and number six first got hot about yeah. a year and a half ago? Right. Uh, I happened to see this. I'm like, eh, okay, it's a second print. Eh, I'll buy it. Eh, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I've held on to this one. Thank God. Smart. That is, I, um, a question. Sure. With all these, with all these um, second prints and third prints being hyped up, are we going to? See a, a rotation back to where the first prints being lower order than second and third prints. I, I thought that was Daredevil, man. I, I, I think Daredevil. I think Daredevil was the tipping point there. Yeah, it happened. Right, it happened, but it, it's going to get murky. Like I don't think it's going to be so clear cut. Like I think the second print layup game is over. And personally. Uh -huh. And there'll be a later printing one in twenty five that will go bananas eventually. Right. Because they won't solicit it as a one in twenty five, mm -hmm. they'll just give them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah. okay, like those those gold second prints back in the day, they used to be printed, weren't they? Like overprinted. Oh yeah, I did. That's, yeah, yeah. Which, so. is, which is what sucks because I was I've always hoped that there were newsstands of the uh, those second prints from the nineties, and there are not. Uh huh. And the ones that are like uh, X Force, no X Factor number seventy one. That book doesn't go for shit. You stand up, it doesn't go for shit. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so we have Thor, God of Thunder number three. Oh, you did get them all. God yeah. damn! Well done, sir. Uh, there's no six, right? That isn't six. No, nope. no number six. But there's a five. Yes. So number four. Uh, number five. Oh, got oh, shit. Nice. I got two copies. Got two of these. <laughs> wow. So I like, I like this one. I like this. Oh, shit. Okay. Now I paid ten dollars for a copy this week. I didn't want to, but I saw that the second prints were at that time they were going for like 60 around that around there. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. All right. Let me, let me break like number five. Yes. Second because print, it's yes. got to be so short printed. Yeah. And I believe last but not least, uh, Thor got a Thunder number 25. Nice. I didn't realize there was a second print of 25. Now that's a cool book too. Yeah. Yeah. Is that for uh, first Jane Foster? Is yes. Cool? Yes. Nice. Yes. Oh, you know what? Here's another second print. Venom 
number one from uh what year is this 2017 maybe 16 17 16, yeah. yeah 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 so i figured i'd show that good stuff and also oh my god does anybody remember when this book was cheap <laughs> <laughs> yeah dumbass book <laughs> i can't man i can't wait to <laughs> shout can't out to key collector for making everybody rich Amen. <laughs> and that is it that nick is you're it. the real mvp well right. done, Carter. Right. Well done, sir. Hot damn. Excellent. Holy shit. All right, who's next? I'll, I'll go up him. Um, uh, all right, you guys. Uh, I like making the half-price crook and the Mercenaut go head-to-head. It really makes me happy. So you hope <laughs> Crimson made a wood? I almost begged him to let me go before him. Uh, uh, your whole, whole crib. Your whole house is made of wood. Your whole house is made of wood. Yeah, I got. <laughs> it's crazy. a log cabin, dude. Yeah, the cook's right. house is dope, dude. Yeah, it's, it's, I love it. It's a fucking pile of shit. It's crazy. Yeah, dude. I'm the only guy that bought a new house and upgraded in 2020. Like, <laughs> um, is, sorry, is, you guys. You guys kept talking to me about that fraction run. I got to read it, but I got a rule that it, until I find it. I won't read it. I need I need to get the whole run and then I'll sit down and read it. But so I've been picking them up for a buck or two when I find them. So uh those Hawkeye books. And dude, why isn't this cover like yep. yes, sir. more sought after, dude? Like everybody yes, wants those neither. Dude, this cover is sick. Yeah, um, that's that's not her. Doesn't uh, matter. Well that would I guess that would yeah. that would probably make a difference. The cover, the cover is sick. But if but, that character shows up in the TV show, I think you're right. I think people, it'll it'll go nuts. Oh, it's a beautiful cover. Like that negative variant kind of shit. Um, so it was missing issue issue number two, but uh, I was able to grab these. At uh, oh, nice, dude. Oh, nice. Yeah, right. nice. Damn it, uh, they have twos at uh. Elwood City, New Dimension. I, I didn't grab them. If I'd have known you needed one, I snagged one. I grabbed issue two on eBay for like four dollars. Okay, like nobody good. cares about issue two. Just to have yeah, it. About two. Meanwhile, nah. tools is probably the, the, the keys. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. <laughs> um, and and maybe somebody can help me with these because uh, and we were showing off stuff earlier, and, and I picked up that that Outlander. Yep. Uh, That's a good book. And that one's good. So, but. They start with issue one of six because they had they had enough of them. I was like, well, I'll just grab them all because they all look pretty uh, good. Job. Job. Yeah, you want the seven, too. Yep. Well, seven, yep, that's right. So, Andy, you want to explain the numbering and the characters? Uh, seven, seven is a cameo of Asherod, whatever. Asherod head, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Uh, seven is a cameo, and ten is the first full. And his dad, there, there's somebody. Some people say it's his dad on the cover of Ten, and some people say it's him. But I, I, I don't know. The seems like the bigger Star Wars experts say it's his dad, but still, I mean, how many times do you see a uh, sand people with uh, lightsabers? Yeah, and the issue yep. is the numbers are screwed up, so it doesn't say number seven. It doesn't say number 10. It, says it does in the barcode. It does in the barcode. But it does in the barcode. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> it, says it. it does say it. It says it up here. It says 10. Oh, yeah, no, it does say 10. And on the newsstand, it doesn't say 10 in the barcode. Like, huh. Cause 10, oh, wow. Cause yeah. These are actually all newsstands. Mm. Um, nice. Those those are the ones. They're flying off eBay too. Like somebody, they're mm. listing them for like seventy bucks right now, and I mean, yeah. they're, going, they're going as quick as you can. I love uh, it. List them. But the newsstand that that's you don't. I hadn't seen a whole lot of those. Damn. So does the newsstand, uh, Justin? Does it say ten at the top at the top corner on the newsstand too? See, this one says ten, and it's not the not the newsstand. Uh, no, it does say. Oh, that's eleven. Uh, in the top corner, like right under the Dark Horse logo, it yeah. should say 10. Yeah, no, it, it says 10. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice. I literally have never seen that. Yep. 
I mean, I haven't but, inspected the books but, that well, but yeah, mm -hmm. not once in the wild. But one and two, say one of six and two of six, and then it goes all the way. I don't to know. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't know. Yep. Oh, uh, actually, eleven because eleven is still the Outlander. Oh wow. Okay. I didn't and know that. I thought it only went to ten. That, that's why I like digging Star Wars books because not everyone's up to speed on Amen. on the numbering and all the subtitles and everything. So. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, you still got a shot. Yeah, you have to know your stuff. And for whatever reason, I, it seems to. I seem to find a lot more dark horse newsstands than I do anything else for whatever reason. I, and I don't re ever remember them being newsstands I've ever, ever seen. Uh, this was an eBay purchase. I, I overpaid for it, but then um, I just love the cover. Yeah. Uh, and then I found oh, wow. yeah, oh, yeah. that thing's gorgeous. Yeah. Three awesome. more. Some guy was selling three at five bucks a piece on eBay and I bought all three. Nice. So hopefully it makes up for this one because yep. it, it was a, a spontaneous drunken purchase, I guess. <laughs> uh, I've been guilty of those. Not yeah. the drunken part, just the spontaneous part. Oh, uh, yeah, I was shit-faced. Um, I'm guilty so, of both. So I, I, I think everybody knows I'm, I'm trying to put the rest of the Spawn collection together. Um, so uh, eBay had a ton of good sales, like uh, – if you were willing to like just lowball somebody on a on an offer, people were taking them. Like all of these uh, spawn books, I got. And I have more. They just haven't made it yet because uh, postal service is all messed up. But able to grab that guy, which has nice. always uh, mm -hmm. eluded me. And uh, and this, I've got like three copies of it, but they're all beat the shit. Um, and this one's fantastic. And I can't believe the guy took the offer that I asked him. <clears throat> uh, so, thank God. Maybe Sony wanted a PS5 or something. So uh, really tough book to find in high grade. It's uh, it's 143, I think. Yeah. Uh, dude, that's strong. Beautiful copy, uh, too. That 143, 144, those are, those are tough books to find. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, well, 141 too. I I had one. I had a I had another spawn copy that was really sought after. That I, I can't remember what issue it was, but uh, if, the one I had I, I got, it had water damage, and uh, I got pissed and just threw it out. <laughs> just like ah, yep. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm not gonna try to press it, fix it, fuck it. I was I was so angry, I just pitched it. Um, I got. I got to give you your props for your pressing job, brother. Pressing right, again. clean. Oh yeah, it's good. It's, it's going to Sarasota's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looked good. Oh, if, awesome. if, if the grader has a good night, I'm gonna get it on it. Compared to what I bought it at. Uh, like, what, what, what did you do to it? I mean, you cleaned it obviously because it had all kind of shit on there. Yeah, it had. It looked like something like it looked like somebody was like about to sit down and read it, and cracked open a beer, and it splattered a bunch of um, something. I, I don't know what it was, but <laughs> there was a, a lot of a lot of stains, like little splatters. Whatever it was, um, it's gone. Uh, yeah, except for that one part. And I, like I said, I, I asked everybody else in the chat, like, does anybody else have this book so I can just look at it and see if maybe that. You know, you're trying to get a stain off, like, and if it's not a stain, like if it lifted color off the, you know, the book, that's one thing. But if it didn't, then don't keep going at it. Like, got to kind of tread lightly or less is more when you're trying to maybe get it past the grader. But I don't, that bottom that, corner, that bottom corner was fucked. And I was like, I can't even notice that corner anymore. I was like, yeah, it's just, it's real deal. It's a real deal. Yeah. I'm glad you like it, man. Uh, thanks. I appreciate you. No, I Kinda appreciate good. you. I appreciate you. I mean, for a job like that, it's $40, $50, $60. I'm going to sit some work your way as well. Merry Christmas, dude. Merry Christmas to you, bro. Appreciate you. <laughs> Anytime, my friend. Where's Nico? Um, 
Sorry, I was just trying to win an auction real quick on uh, eBay, but Iron Man three. No, there's a Batman P two seven. It's incredibly underpriced right now in a live auction. Now I can't even find it. I'm like, where did this book go? Uh, he pulled it because it was so underpriced. Well, I mean. Did they? They literally have it mislisted. I, I my life. I, Here, I did. I did have one more pick up too. <laughs> yeah, so, that's my boy, right, so, Andy. Saving so, my ass. Thank you. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a comic pack. I, I was telling everybody, I'm, I'm big on the comic packs right now, and normally they've got them lined up. Their name is on right under them and on the side as well. This one's effed up. So they've got Anakin Skywalker over here. <laughs> under dirge, dirge dirge over here under anakin skywalker so i don't know just something cool i like the errors and the weird shit but that is definitely not anakin on that side and that's not dirge i got i got a, i got a theory about andy and <laughs> it happened only one other time the <laughs> last time he showed a toy pack news came like two days later that was that <laughs> <throw. laughs> so yep. i'm glad he showed that I'm glad he showed that with the dirge. Do you think we'll see dirge anywhere? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, he's a strong possibility. I mean, if they're going for all the the bad dudes and the the the, the big bads, I mean, he definitely fits the fits the bill. You know, he's I, a man. He 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 killed a lot of Mandalorians. He fucked up a lot of Mandalorians. Yeah, I mean, he, he's he infamous in Mandalorian lore. He he's a badass. This is I the got, other comic pack I like. So. Last one, the Empire comic pack. There's a lot of first appearances in this book, and the comic pack variant is different. It's got the green Empire up here instead of the, I think it's blue on the other one. So it's one to watch out for. So Star Wars Empire number one in general has a ton of uh, first appearances. Yep. Oh. It does. It's like uh, two, two grand moths and... Uh, Two or three other guys in there. I can't put my finger on right now. So okay. I don't know where my list is, but yeah, it's got <clears> first <throat> appearances throughout. Okay, cool. Yep. I got one more cool little pickup. Uh, uh, my honey hole is shutting down um, at, at, uh, in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, it's right by the Ohio State University. Uh, it's uh, the half price books there. It's kind of a sad time. I wanted to go in and say goodbye to some people that they're 30, the 31st of December is their last day and they're not buying any more stock. They're moving it to another store, but uh, I used to buy vinyl and LPs all the time and re very rarely do any more unless it's like really close to me music wise, but uh, they had some 45s with sleeves sitting by the door uh, or I'm sorry about the checkout counter. And they had this guy, and uh, I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'll pick this up." And it had the record, so it, you know, the, you guys remember these? They're old enough to remember these. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, so you could you could read along, look at the pictures, and then they got like, uh, you know, the people that will uh, that narrate it. I, I don't know who does, and that's exactly. I had I had a, I had a He Man shit. I had a whole He Man collection of them records. Yep, I'm bummed. It's got, a little, it's got a little clip over here. So it was, it was like it was probably discounted at the store or whatever, but but still pretty sweet. Uh, fucking Ohio was just full of fucking just gems. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like, what the hell? I don't have that shit in South Carolina like that. I mean, crack doesn't smoke itself. So I, I was, <laughs> I've been told people like, oh. Ohio people just hawk their shit, but no. That I, makes a lot of fucking sense <laughs> all around. <laughs> East, west, north, south. That makes a lot of fucking yes. sense. Yes, it does. Uh, <laughs> that was a line of the show right there. <laughs> yes, yes. You just literally explained the Cleveland scene of collecting. <laughs> Why was it so great? Now I know. Craig is not smoking. <laughs> Period. Done. Deal. Yep, that was it. That was great. Holy shit. Now, I, I'm going to jump. Hey, Carter, if you want to meet up for coffee in Toledo and uh, 
uh, tomorrow on your way. I'll probably I'm also two and a half hours away tomorrow. So, okay, um, I'm going to bounce. But um, dude, hit me up in the hangout if you want to meet up there early, because I'm going to try to head out earlier, which means I get there at like three. (laughs) (laughs) I'll be late. All right. Yeah, we'll see what's up. Thank you, half price man. Right. Is the right. is a pleasure. Pleasure so, to talk to you, half price. You always always a gym. Anytime we come back to drunken chat, come on through. Had a hand that no, popping like you did that that night. <laughs> it, it it's hard because I usually have to work the next day, but you know I, I'll try. I, 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 I love fun, to have it, baby. Open 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 invite, man. This time you get to talk. So. And, and if nobody <laughs> and if nobody watched the episode, go back and watch it. Because no, it, don't no, don't go back and watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, or don't. <laughs> Whatever's Just clever. Just let it die. <laughs> All right, I love you guys, man. Merry Christmas. I'm gonna buy. I love you too, man. All right, see you, All right, see you later. Um, yeah, I'm gonna step away from the Batman 227. We, I was just going to try to bid it up, so I was the highest bidder and, and let it go. <laughs> and then, uh, now I realize clearly people pay more for comic books than I do. I'm, I'm reminded of that often. All right, so uh, crap I picked up. Uh, a mask, one, one in 50. Paul Pope, beautiful. I paid T full. How much? Three bucks. Jesus wow. Christ. Wow. I'm going to buy one of these right now, matter of fact. Hold yeah. On. I like that book. Uh, Loved it. Those yeah. are the first four times I had it. I love it. That's been 15. All right. I paid three dollars for these two, even though they say twenty-five and ten, twenty-five and ten, but they're in the three-dollar variant box. This is the X-Men homage to Dungeons and Dragons number <laughs> seven. All right, snag them, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. They're going to do a TV show. Nobody gives a shit about uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know that any of the characters on the TV show are going to have anything to do with. The comic books. Was it a Marvel? I, I a do Marvel? know that this is IDW. I do know that a one in twenty-five, wait, and a one in ten are like I don't know seventy-five and fifty dollars on eBay. But you can really? find these in the wild. That's your buddy Nika. I don't know. I, I like that mass spec more than the, the dragon spec. But the dragon can go anywhere with no characters. Yeah, anything. So, tree bones. All right. Uh, this one is Diodato at his best, dirt yeah. cheap. Yeah, freaking nice. love that book. Mm. How do you not three dollars? How do you not pay three bucks for that one? Yeah, yep. uh, awesome. Mel, I want you to say it for everybody, nice and loud. <laughs> for graphic level, Simon and Bianchi. Uh, Simon and Bianchi. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Yeah. Same, same, same. We got a haircut. Yeah, but since you want to talk about um, graphic novels quickly, and I, this is all I'll say, um, what do you call more than one grape? A bunch of grapes? Yeah, no shit. All right. What's <laughs> <laughs> your point? <laughs> Mel, a, a graphic novels are a bunch of comic books. Trade paperbacks, they're a bunch of comic books. They're, they're still comic books. They're just... So we're doing that. As, uh, we're not we're like doing grapes. Grapes. You call a bunch of grapes. They're still grapes. But so, anyway. No, but a, 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 tra- a trade paperback of, of a book that hasn't been collected before. We we, we this is what we're doing there. I mean, well, first, first, if, first, CG, first, dude, if CGC will slab it, I don't fucking care if it's in a magazine or whatever. I can sell it and I'm done with it. Yeah, I don't so, get into all the academic shit. Like this is the minimum. Like if I can go to school if you want to argue about academia, like. Dollars and cents are what really matters in flipping comics. Uh, I just I, I, I understand. Like I, understand that. I, I, I do that. Shit. I, I do know. that too. But I also have a fucking code. Graphic novels are not. Graphic novels are not first appearance. I mean, wherever you want to draw the line, uh, I've got a list of graphic novels I'd like to buy from you. Uh, Secret Invasion. <laughs> I think this <laughs> is. Mid- a I, got a, I got a box of them. I'll trade you for some graphic novels. Yeah, I think this is a one in fifty. <laughs> Uh, a pay. That's a, that's a midtown. That's a midtown cover. Ten bucks. Yeah, well, the the difference is the midtown cover has the midtown thing on it, right? right. Yeah, this one does not. Uh, so I'll take that for ten. Uh, this one I overpaid for. I I paid 
uh, I got 25% off of 34.98, but I did so well on all the other stuff. I was like, how can you not do it? This book is ice cold right now. I'm hoping when uh, Venom shows up in uh, uh, Tom Holland film, people will care again. Hey, I'm going to miss staring at that book at that store. I, it bothered me, dude. <laughs> it bothered me, Carter. How long has it been there? <laughs> Probably, I want to say at least a couple years. At right? Least. And I was just yes. like, it's got to go. It's got to yes. go. All right. This is what you'll really miss staring at in that store. You ready? Oh. All them damn Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. That's I took crazy. them all. I took them all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I took them all. Um, out of the dollar bins, I took uh, just one of these. They only had one, but I was able to get a rack of the uh, of these. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, just as a matter of principle, I grabbed a couple of those <laughs> and a couple of these. Now, I like uh, these books. Does anybody know what this crap is? Yeah. I mean, no, but yeah. So those are the Mr. <laughs> Monster um, Golden Age Swipes, right? And the reason that Mr. Monster is near and dear to my heart is because it is my favorite Dave Stevens cover. I was able to get uh, – these are all these are a dollar a piece for the record. I was able to get one, two – Three, four copies. Nice. Yeah, I was very happy about that. Uh, I'll, I don't know. I, I got a problem. For whatever reason, I'll just take these at a buck if I see them. <laughs> I'm at the point now where I'm passing those out for a dollar. I just like them, though. I like Galactus. Yeah, yeah. I like that Galactus cover. It's all black. Uh, been buying bitter roots for a dollar whenever I see them. That's sure. never a bad move. You know what I mean? It just makes sense yeah. to me. Definitely. Uh, Carter got me into looking for what? What? What's this? First brood. God damn right. Carter got me looking for the uh, Mark Julius. Mark Julius. Yeah. Why is why, why is first brood important? Now? I mean, I'll tell you what. You you think it's because of the aliens? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it before the aliens, but I got an aliens book for you. But uh, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna blow up because of aliens. Mel, I got an aliens book for you. Ready? Talk to me. Boom, shakalaka. Boom, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought is that, that comics was... interview? Is that a straight paperback? No, I, I'm just yeah, I'm just. Kidding. <laughs> Fair question. I, it's sure as fuck not a comic book. I'll tell you that much. There's, there ain't uh, no comic book in here. Um, I didn't say it. And as a matter of principle, I grabbed <laughs> this one too for a uh, buck. Nice, yeah. nice. So, that's all I did. Uh, done and done, gentlemen. It has been uh, an exceptionally good time for uh, those. I have fun. Even the controversy, I, I have a thank you, Nico, for inviting me. Even though we had controversy, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Shit, Mel, it's part of your show. There's no invitation necessary. Uh, Mel is uh, like uh, the rest of the guys here, part of the panel that puts together those. 10 spec books, except for Carter, who doesn't ever read the hangout, but he's going to start. And then <laughs> next week, he'll be part of the panel. I, like Carter, was not part of the panel this week because uh, of some personal stuff. But uh, long story short, uh, we'll be back next week with all kinds of, of great information. I will, have, I, I, will, comics. I will have my picks, but I will not be on camera next week because it is the day after uh, New Year's, and I'm not doing that. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Uh, I need two days. Here. I need two days to recuperate. Not one. Hey, no. one, one last question: Is Star Wars Insider a comic, Mo? No. Oh, it's not a comic. It's a magazine. Okay, all right. Is Fangoria a comic? Touche. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I, I, yeah. His first cover appearance of Gwynnum. Is that, that Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy book? Guardians of Nowhere. Is that the first Venom? Gwynnum? She's on the cover. You ready? I, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs>